All right, we're here at CES, guys. Um, here at CES 2024, gonna check out all the the tech that's coming out. There's just so much stuff here, guys. It's like, it's unbelievable, like what they have. So what we're gonna do is just gonna walk around, um, talk to a few people, check a couple things out, and yeah, maybe maybe we'll find some cool stuff. So let's go. So one of the features we love is that flex mode. Is that you get on here too. Cool. You just quickly activate it. Jeez. <laughs> now let's say you don't want to use that selfie camera and you want to use the main camera. We can still use our same flex mode make sure we have our front activated. And now we're using our actual main camera. Same exact feature. <laughs> so you always have the perfect selfie. Yeah, that's cool. The best part, you have to close it like nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> Got your own built-in stand with no worries. Yeah, worry. see, this is yeah. Cool. and the the megapixels. How much is it in the front versus the back? Twelve megapixel. And then you have an ultra wide as well. Nice. So you got a ten to your twelve, but the twelve goes ultra wide. Yeah, cool. I'm a big Samsung guy, so. <laughs> Sorry, no one's gonna tell you. Someone's gonna say nothing. I got the twenty-two. I love it. Oh, I love it. So, man. Give me some info about this. Yeah. So this right here is going to be uh, generative AI on the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. So with this one right here, this demo is going to allow you to create a one-on-one -on -one wallpaper. It's interactive. I'll let you go ahead and try it. So right here, it says surreal is the theme. Both cotton and blue and indigo are words you can change. So they're pre-selected. So right here, this both, you can select any of those words in there. Cool. And then the same thing with cotton. It's a really big stone. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then the actual the color combination. Oh, that's my favorite. Okay, go ahead and create wallpaper. And this is where it's going to use generative AI to create you a one of one wallpaper. Each one of these has a different theme. So this one right here, you're going to normally get three to four choices matching the words that you put in. What you can do too is if you click on Inspire Me, it's going to randomly select those words for you. So now what I like is it gives you ideas of things to play around with. So if you like the table, but you don't like it pink and purple, you can change it to green and teal and then generate the a wallpaper. Nice. This, wall, this one is a take home. You can actually send any of them over to your email as well. Any creative. Oh, that's pretty neat. Can you give me some more information about this? Okay, so YouTube, beta, YouTube create beta. So once you get to the upload content part, it shows you can upload, you can select multiple items. And then once you get to the next stage, first thing it's gonna do is take out the background noise. Then you'll go on to doing the, uh, selecting the song pad. It's fine to be. So you can use AI to help match it up with the video. Or in the live version, you can drag and drop how you want. That saves a lot on energy. <laughs> right, a lot of time to get. And so then, of course, auto captions. Oh, yeah. With the auto captions, can you choose the different languages you want? Definitely. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's go. Dedicated app. Finally, <laughs> don't have to work through the Creator Studio. What's your name? Steve. Steve. This is the Pulsar 3 with Google built in. This car will be made available in the coming months on the market. So what we're actually going to be experiencing today, what you're seeing, is a pre-release version of the car as well as the software of Google built in. Google built in means Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play are directly integrated into the car with access to your favorite apps and services the moment that you step in, or in this case, sit in the car without having the need to connect your phone. Although I know we need our phones to film or just use it for every day of our life. So we are bringing useful features to make the phone and car work better together. So for example, you can plan a trip on your phone and send it directly to your car with Google built in. So that kind of feature can work with any kind of phone as long as you're signed into Google Maps. 
So the example I have, and this is why I want you to bring in your backpack inside here, we're going to go to the Hoover Dam. I got the route here on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I can actually send this to the screen right here. It just takes seconds to bring it up, and it will take about this much amount of time to arrive I can start and get out of here except they won't let me do that unfortunately yep. so but your <laughs> your backpack is here and safe with me now this also works outside of the car too meaning I don't have to be in here if I'm in a restaurant and I'm just finishing up dinner with my friends or family I can send it also to the car too and the moment I step in it'll show up now that we're all inside Google Maps let's look closely at the visualization that are coming up so what we're seeing are the <clears throat> realistic design of buildings in Las Vegas to help us get more familiarized with the area, especially if we're traveling to a new place that we have never been to before. Finding an iconic place like the stratosphere, oh, very easily. You can pinch and move and no problem. Now, Google Assistant, I brought that up earlier. You can bring that up with your voice or press the steering wheel button there as well as over here to access navigation music, AC settings to adjust, or any other car settings you like to access. The example I'll provide is adjust the temperature to 72 degrees. Okay, changing the temperature to 72 degrees. Voila, there you go. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. Now, what else can you do? Well, you can browse the internet as well when you're parked, such as using the Chrome browser right over here which will be made available with select cars with Google built in, including this one here. So when we open up the Chrome, it's just like a normal browser that you see on your computer. You can search top things to do in Vegas, browse the latest news, or even access my saved bookmark directly to access it here. I'm going to keep my family entertained with a little fun game that we can make together, like making our own songs, just right there, especially when we're parked. It's, it's quite cute. <laughs> Another benefit of Google built-in are the many apps available on Google Play made specifically for the car. So for example, if we are waiting in the car for a charge at a charge station or picking up food somewhere on curbside, we can keep ourselves entertained with YouTube, Prime Video, anime fans out there. Oh yeah, we got you got we got you a Crunchyroll or for the screaming child in the car to keep them quiet, PBS Kids available to occupy them. There's something for everyone. Welcome to the Ford mach -E. So this isn't a full electric vehicle, all the electric. And it's great because they're gonna be doing some integrations with just this car so far that's gonna be rolling out. That will be rolling out on other EV cars soon. So you saw the Porn Star. Mm -hmm. So you saw that the immersive view is still here, um, which is great. So they wanted to give you a perspective of how buildings looked. So now you can see that, which is fantastic. One thing they wanted to do for EVs in particular, because there's a lot of hassle with charging, running out of charger where you're going, because a lot of people take their cars on vacations and go a long ways, right? So one thing they wanted to let you know was if you had to plug your phone in, a lot of times it's gonna hijack your dash. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you won't get the readings of the car because your phone can't access that. So what Google did, they partnered with Ford to get sensors to be able to read to the Google Assistant so they can pull it all on here. Now, what that means is, if we're at 100%, we arrive at the Hoover Dam, we should be around 83%, which oh, is fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we were already on a lower charge, it would default us to the lowest or the, the closest charger, which will show up here. Now, the great thing about this is, if I needed to pre-select a, de like, like a destination, it's gonna tell me how many charges are there and how many are already being used. So there's six here and four being used. Mm -hmm. There's two and two and six and six. So I would have wanna avoid these if I needed to charge at that moment. Mm -hmm. You can also toggle over to fast chargers. So it also will tell you how fast your car will charge, right? So if I untoggle this, this one's slow, slow, very fast, and a couple have like different options, which is fantastic. So now you can plan your route accordingly. If we're on our way, and a lot of times what we have to do is take phone calls, join meetings, or whatever the case we have to do in the car, mm -hmm. they want to make that a lot more simpler and safe for you. So what they did was they added Cisco. This is just one we're gonna be showing, but they're gonna be using multiple. And now you can just join your calls from straight from here without picking up your phone, mm -hmm. which is great. So once we join, you'll see it looks very familiar to your phone. You don't have any video for safety reasons, but you have all the audio that you normally would have anyway. Mm -hmm. You can put it onto a Bluetooth device if you needed to, so you don't have it on your speakers. Um, you can mute it, and you can pause it, and you can see how many participants are right here as well.
lock. Yeah. Step two, press that down, hold it down, and it slides. Okay. Step three, that's this part. You can do it yourself, or you can wait for me. Okay. Please. Okay. Can I keep on those sticks? I'm sorry? Can I keep on those sticks? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. My, my voice is cracking. Oh, day two. Is that right? Now, Red Dawes, get in here. I want you to follow it with your eyes, not your head. That's going to happen twice. There we go. So these are the one mores. Uh, oh, all feet open earbuds. Feet open earbuds. Yeah. It sounds really good. I actually like the sound. Yeah. So it's like a light edition, uh, maybe cheaper, but the, as good as the flagship one. Okay. It's uh, connected by the speaker, not bunk connect connection. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Just, uh, just Did I do it sure. right? No, no, you're good. Just to be sure you hear ours. <laughs> yeah, you're like, is that ours? <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really clear. Yeah. It's uh, only about $55, so, so it's price is really reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would like to play the game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Stress relief. Yeah. That's that, that, You could get a gift. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. My <A> little ducky. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like how it, it doesn't have the... It just sits there. It sits on top of your ear. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't go straight to your ear. Yeah. Do I have it on right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks great. Yeah, it looks good. Can you crank? How loud can you crank it up? Yeah, all the way. All the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really clear. Like yeah. the treble's nice. We have a new one that is dropping in March. If you'd like to see that, what's the one that I'm using? So our company is Be Haptics. Uh, we create a variety of different haptic, uh, haptic tools for uh, game developers or game players to feel their intensity or force or impact from virtual reality or console games. So as you can see on this brochure, there are different variety of games that, that we support our devices and there are different devices that our company made. So in this demo, we're going to experience this haptic suit. So would you like to wear this? Yeah. See how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, could you could you make the, the best to, to be more tighter? Thank you. All right, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, looks good on you. So, put your head. So before putting your headset on, I'm just gonna take a quick tour over the software that we are building. So, uh, this dot mode is actually a trigger actually controls the trigger for each motor. So we have 40 different motors on the DBS. So 20 on the front side, 20 on the back side, and we can actually trigger each motor on and off. Oh, wow. So do you feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and we can also simulate a continuous motion between the <laughs> motors. So we can not only control each motor, but we can also simulate the vibration between the motors. Yeah. And there are over 250 games that supports our device. So to make the developer's life more easier, we support hundreds of different uh, pre-existing haptic designs. Could you put your headset on? So, do you feel it? <laughs> So all the frequencies can be modified like this or this or you can create your own music using like this. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. If you have other question, please call me. Yeah, okay, cool, thank you. 
So I'm listening to uh, Eminem's Godzilla. And this vest thing that I'm wearing, you can feel every little punch. So the song is, is this, this just a regular song? Yeah, check it out. So, pretty neat. Um, super impressed with this thing, it's nice. It's different. I've uh, never experienced anything like this before, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for gaming too. So, and it looks like you can actually do a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called? You can program everything specifically with how you want it. Awesome. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So here we have the S8 Max V Ultra, and so one of our new features here is, as you can see, that little arm coming out there. That is the flexi arm design. So that brush comes out to clean like some of those hard to reach areas, like your corners, that oftentimes robot vacuums miss, and it's a big pain point for a lot of consumers. Um, then it also has an edge mopping system, so on the side there, there's that little mop that hangs out at the oh, side yeah. to also assist with um, the corner cleaning. Yeah. Um, and then it's also the first of its kind to have the ability to dock, um, and the dock can connect to your home plumbing system. No so you, way. Yeah, so you can see it actually going in there. That's the home yeah. plumbing system setup. So there's like a there's a, like a pump that will come with. The, the unit and then you can connect it to your home plumbing system so it will um, self-empty, mm. self-drain, self-refill and then this also is self-cleaning and self-drying for the mop pads. Nice. It also has uh, remote viewing from the app so you can see what's going on inside your home and there's two-way audio so you can yeah. actually like talk to your pet through, nice. the, <laughs> through the app. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, you guys thought a lot about this one, huh? Yeah. yeah. So, it's also got the, the camera, so it's got the reactive AI, the voice control, um, and the remote viewing from your camera. This one is our standard uh, clean and dirty water tank. Still self-emptying, self-refilling, self-cleaning, self-drying. Our main difference here is the flexi arm design is in its mop pad. So this is the uh, mop side that will actually swing out to clean those corners and those hard to reach areas. Nice. Um, and this one has 7,000 PA suction power. So this is a totally new series. This is the uh, Flexi Pro. So this does both wet and dry messes. Really? Um, and it's this mopping pad is uh, self-cleaning and self-drying. So this mop pad will air dry within um, 30 minutes. And I could use it as a regular vacuum and a mop. Yeah, it will do it all. It'll pick up like uh, wet and dry messes all at the same time. Can I take it home with me today? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then it also can like completely flat. Oh wow. So you can get like under your under your car under your you know couch, your yeah. sofa, um, your bed, all those areas that handhelds typically can't get to. Yeah. Um, and then it also uses hot water, so it's able it sanitizes your floors and gets rid of ninety nine point nine percent of your germs. We don't have an official like date for coming to the market. Will likely be Q2 of this year, okay. um, and then we don't have an, an exact price right okay. now either. And that is it for today, guys. That is a wrap for uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center. The both halls, very extremely long day. Um, I'm really glad I was able to talk to some of these companies here um, and then just reconnect. Um, yeah, it's been a minute, you know, everything's everything's coming back to normal, but it's coming back in a much bigger way. So super excited and super stoked to what's going to be coming soon. So make sure you guys are following me across all my YouTube channels, Rojas Tech Reviews, Rojas Streaming Tech, and Rojas Travels, um, because a lot of this stuff, it's going to be real life situational usage. And yeah, so... Hope you guys are enjoying everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What is your favorite part? With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.